Hey dollhouse people, Whitney Labrie here, and this week we're gonna be continuing on with our fall themed room box. I bought a dollar store chest for us to do a little refurb on, so that's what we'll be doing today. So let's get started. Many episodes ago, I did a dollar store chest transformation. And when I was doing that, I had mentioned in that video that you could take this chest of drawers and actually turn it into a dresser and also nightstands. So I thought today what I would do is go ahead and turn the chest into a dresser so that you can see what that would look like and how to do that. And I'm basically just gonna be cutting it into two pieces, setting it side by side and adding a new top and a new base. The other thing I'm gonna try to do is just use leftover stuff from around the house to do the transformation. And the main reason I'm going to do that is because if you go out and you buy a dollar store chest, but then you spend $40 in supplies doing the makeover, then you might as well have just gone online and bought a dresser or a chest. So anyway, my motto in this case is save your cash and use what you got in your stash. And then also I'm going to be taking the bed that I made bedding for last week and I'm going to be also painting that today uh, and transforming that. And then in addition to that, so I found this little pink rocking chair and I think it would be a lovely addition to my little fall room box here and so I'm going to also paint that and kind of do a little little bit of a mini makeover on that. So let's talk color before we move any further here. If you plan on using the same bed over and over again like how I am for different bedding of different seasons then it's going to be very important for you to choose a very neutral color for your bed. Now, if you're just doing one room box and the bed is going to be stored away inside this box, then you can really get crazy with the color selections that you make for your bed. But I'm going to be using this again and again for different seasons. And so it's going to be very important that I choose a neutral color. Now, a lot of the times when we think neutral, the first colors that we kind of think of are beiges, creams, you know, these kind of colors, because we see that really often. But the truth is there are a lot of other colors that can fall into the neutral zone. One of those colors can be different variations of blue. And so for me, what I'm gonna choose here is more of a denim blue because denim, as we know, you can wear denim and then pretty much match it to any color that you want and go for it. And so that's what I'm gonna do today. So I've chosen this really nice darker denim color and that's what I'm gonna paint the bed and probably the dresser at this point. But I just wanna show you here, I have a color wheel and I got this at Dunn Edwards a really, really long time ago so I just wanted to take a quick sec to use this blue that I've chosen and show you how it's going to go with the other bedding that I've already made but how it can also go with a million other different types of bedding in the future if I decide to make more stuff for example I did the Christmas bedding and you can see here reds and greens and then that blue go really well together now if I want to do like a Valentine's Day pinks reds theme then of course that's gonna go with that denim blue as well and then if you saw last week's episode and I did the gnome bedding, you can see the greens, blues, reds, all of that goes with that same denim in addition to oranges. Of course, mixing that in would be perfect. And then I'm going to paint that pink rocking chair in a harvest gold or a antique gold finish today. And you can see that it also goes really well with the denim color. So I went to the store to find denim or a variation of a darker denim color. And I was able to locate this chalky color here called Stormy. And so that's what I'll be using for the bed and then also for the dresser. Okay, so I don't usually spend a lot of time talking about color or why I chose the colors I do. So I hope that that was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments if it was. And now let's go ahead and move on to transforming that chest into a dresser. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just grab my, my little ruler here and my little handy pencil. And I'm gonna mark it right in the center, of course, so that I know where to make my cuts. One of the things that I'm gonna make sure of is that I mark it where the top part of the dresser and the bottom part of the dresser drawers are going to be the same height because that's gonna be really important because I'm gonna be removing the base and the top of the chest and adding a new top and base once the middle portion is complete. 
Okay, now I'm gonna grab my little Dremel here and I'm gonna take this outside. It's a nice day. I'm gonna go ahead and make those cuts and I will show you the outcome of the cuts and there they are. All right, so you can see I, I got a little, a couple little nuggets, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm gonna do a little sanding here in a little while and then everything will fit much better. The next step is to take my hot air gun here and I'm going to lightly go over the areas that I wanna take apart and remove those pieces of wood. And I don't show it here, but you know, be really careful with those hot air guns. Don't hold the piece in your hand. Hold your pieces with a pair of pliers or something like that so you don't burn yourself. And then if you see here, I've got a couple little brown knobs. That's because I held the hot air gun a little too close. So just be aware of that when you're, when you're using that sort of equipment. The next step is just to remove the drawer pulls. In this case, I'm not gonna be using these again for this dresser, but you can put them aside and use them for something else. The next step is to take the bed and what will soon be my dresser and go ahead and sand them down really nicely. The bed, because it was a, originally a canopy bed, it, it's broken, so it does. it is missing the top spindles and actually the back needs to be glued back on as well. Before I glue my two pieces together to make the dresser, I needed to make sure that I lined up the center and when I did that I realized that in order for it to line up I was going to need to remove one of the interior panels so you can see here that I did that once I did that I was able to line up the center perfectly and then now I can glue all my pieces together I'm just going to go ahead and use a little blue tape and lay that aside to dry now while that glue is drying let's go ahead and get on over to that little rocking chair so this rocking chair, it's actually in really good shape. It's this pretty pink color, which is very cute, but I want it to be more of a gold finish for this project. So it, it clearly had a seat cushion or something before today that had been removed. I'm just gonna go back and try to get off as much of the glue that I can. Now the color I chose, of course, is this antique gold color here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the entire chair this gold color. Okay, and then for the cushion, I'm just gonna do a very similar method that that I did for the bedding. I'm just gonna take a small piece of cardstock here. I'm gonna cut it down to the right size for the cushion pad. And then I'm gonna fold this fabric right on over it. And then once my chair is all nice and dry, I'm gonna go ahead and slide that piece of fabric onto the seat and glue it in. It's very cute and I, I really like it. It's a little plain. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of decor to the back slats there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these three permanent marker colors. I have a burgundy, an orange, and a green. And I'm gonna take my green and I'm just gonna scroll on some little squiggles across all four of those slats on the back there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my burgundy color and I'm going to just do really little asterisk signs. And I'm gonna do about five for slat. So two on each side, roughly one in the middle and then two on the other side. Once I'm completed with that, I'm going to take my orange and I'm just going to add some little dots randomly on the back. That'll be a nice little accent rocking chair in the little fall room box. So now the wood glue should be dry and I'm going to start adding the top to my dresser. So I have a couple extra pieces of balsa wood left over actually from the shining project that I did. So I'm going to grab one of those pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and glue it to the top of my dresser. And it's a little bit larger than the dresser, which is fine. I wanna add a little hangover on the ends anyway. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of extra trim and I'm going to go ahead and apply it underneath to give a little bit of height, but also to just clean up the edges of the base of the dresser. So that's what that looks like once those items are glued. Now I'm just gonna wait for those to dry. While that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and paint my bed now in the stormy denim blue color. Based on my first coat, this is going to take at least two coats. <laughs> All right, now my dresser should be dry. And what I like to do is just add a little nice kind of fun edge to this. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw out a couple fun edges on either side of this dresser. And honestly, I'm just eyeballing it. I don't suggest doing that because you'll have uneven ends. I'm not 
that concerned about the perfection at this point. <laughs> Maybe later I'll be like, why did I do that? But anyway, I just quickly drew out some pencil lines and I took my very sharp X-Acto knife. I cut out the edges. And when you're working with balsa wood, you have to be careful because it can splinter on you, which it did a little bit when I was playing with it here. The easy fix to that is just applying a little bit of wood glue and letting it dry. And I actually chipped it a little bit. And in that case, it was just a thin chip. I can also add a little bit of wood glue to fill that and then let it dry as well and that'll fix that. But anyway, after the edges were cut, I'm just gonna go ahead and sand them and make them nice and smooth. And then you can see here that I'm filling in that chip with the wood glue and then I'm gonna go ahead and wait till that dries. I'm gonna take the same denim paint and I'm gonna go ahead and fully paint the dresser. Once that's dry, I'm gonna take my iron-on laminate edging here. You see me use this in a couple other videos. If you haven't seen me use this before, I purchased this on Amazon and it is an iron-on real wood laminate and it's fabulous because it takes stain and it takes paint just like wood. In this case, I'm actually just cutting this out to be my wood front. And then I actually found this really great trim. This is a cardstock trim or scrapbooks trim. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down and put that on the front of the drawers. All right, and so that's what it looks like so far. Now I wanted this to be kind of whimsical, though same as like the bedding. I just think it's really fun. You know, I'm kind of going back and forth on one of the hardware that I want to make for it. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and once it's dry, I'm going to sand it and sand the fronts down a little bit, sand the edging so it makes it nice and even. And I had to fill in a little bit of that chip again with some wood glue. So I'm just still waiting for that to dry so I can repaint. So now the challenge is that the dresser is not tall, as tall as I would like it to be, even with the trim that I put on the base. So I found these little wood pieces here. This is something that I found in one of my state cell finds and it looks like someone chopped up a little wooden dowel. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these as extra legs and also I'm gonna use it to cap off the top of the bedding where it would have had a spindle that connected. So I'm just gonna cap these off and also use them as feet for the dresser. Okay, so now I wanna work on the hardware. I found this color here that's very similar to the color in my bedding, almost an exact match actually. And I'm gonna take some trim. I painted the trim in that orange, I cut it down, and then I added the little beads as drawer pulls. All right, and there it is. I've got this little whimsical little dresser. And I'm, I'm not I'm not 100% on it. I don't know what it is. There's just something about it that I'm not I'm not loving it. I don't know why. <laughs> so I'm just going to set it aside for a little while and think about it. Okay, so I've thought about it and I hate it. <laughs> So I'm gonna redo it. I don't know. It's not that it's the worst thing I've ever made. It there's just, I'm just not happy with the way that it's looking. I don't know if it's because the drawer pulls are just so, I, I don't mind a pop of color, but I don't know if it's like the shape that I did. I don't know. I don't know if it's because there's too much going on. That's okay. So I, I'm just gonna start over. <laughs> Sometimes that happens with projects, okay? I also didn't like those little knobs on the top of the bed posts either. So I'm just taking the fronts off. So I got out my wood laminate again, and I put it on the front of the dresser. And I'm just gonna start coating the top portion in a creamy white. And I'm not gonna fully let that dry because I, what I wanna do next is I'm gonna blend. And then I'm gonna take my antique gold that I use in the rocking chair, and I'm gonna start blending that in. And I'm gonna go light to dark. And I'm not gonna worry that much about it right now if it's super perfect because this is gonna take two coats anyway. So this is gonna kind of give me my ideas of where I need to blend everything. All right, now I'm gonna take this pumpkin spice color that's in the bedding and I'm going to go ahead and do the same with that. I'm gonna just start painting it on, blending it in. All right, and then the last coat I'm gonna put on is the denim again on the base. All right, now I feel better about this, the way that it looks, because it's a piece that's kind of tying everything together. That I don't have a ton going on on it. And then I also chose these simple hardware here. These are just jewelry pieces. And I think that it works, it's working better. So I'm just gonna set that down and, and see how I like it. And you know what? It's still not exact. It's still not exact. And I'm going through all of this with you guys and I'm showing you this because 
the truth is is that not every project is exactly what you want it to be in the beginning you sometimes have to keep changing it and molding it to meet the look that you want so i went ahead with that orange that i had used in the previous hardware and i added it to the button to the bottom and I think that now I feel really good about this piece in addition I added some beads to the base because I still felt like it was a little too short for the space okay and then now I feel like it's really tying these three pieces together it has all the colors from all the pieces it feels still to me slightly plain on the top but I want it that way because I have to remember that I'm going to be adding accessories and other items around it so that wider color, that creamy top, will actually allow for the accessories to pop later. So I'm okay with the way that it looks. All right, you guys. So this is the end result from chest to dresser. It was a little bit of a challenge getting to this spot here, but I'm okay with the way that it looks. I like it a lot better than the other. The other was okay, but it just, there was just something about it that I didn't care for. So I just had to make the changes. And that's okay because that's how some things happen. And so anyway, I want to know what you think. Did you hate the original and like this one better? Or did you like the other one better and like and not like this one? So <laughs> have you been there before? Let me know. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed today's show. I'm Whitney. This is my little scarecrow, Tiny Whitney. And we are both very appreciative of you being here. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Hate to ask that every time, but it definitely helps the channel. This week's show is actually brought to you by suggestions from one of our viewers, Tiny Nina, who wanted to see some dollar store makeovers. If you have suggestions for me and like to see something in an upcoming video, please feel free to put that in the comments below. We really appreciate you being here and don't forget, in this crazy life, it's the little things that matter.